6 9 is once again making waves, and once again he's proving that he is someone who isn't afraid to be brash, to the point of foolishness and beyond. And while 6 9 has had plenty to say these last several weeks, so have various members of the rap community. Number 4 from 6 9 to you 6 9 at the start of 2020 was in a rather bleak place. He was in jail for crimes he had committed alongside the group known as the Nine Trey Bloods. Though he became a snitch in order to get out of jail sooner, he was still sentenced to 23 months in jail, which would have ended in November 2020. But then thanks to the coronavirus, he got out in early April and decided to celebrate by releasing a new song in the form of Gooba and doing a live stream talking about everything the case had revealed about himself including his thoughts on his snitching, which he both admits to doing and yet said he had done nothing wrong by doing so. Y'all really didn't have a reason to dislike me, but now y'all got a reason. So the go-to is, he snitched, the 24-year-old explains. My fans, my family don't deserve that, and I'm sorry. Listen, I snitched, and I ratted, but who was I supposed to be loyal to? Oh, and remember the crimes that I mentioned earlier? He claims he didn't do anything wrong in the eyes of the law. I want to shout out my lawyer, Lance Lazaro. I want to say thank you to the judge for allowing me to come home early to my family. I appreciate that. I didn't do anything wrong. After absolving himself of all crimes, he went right back to bashing anyone who had ever said a bad thing about him, including some of the up-and-comers who were saying that they were the kings of New York, a nickname that 6 9 had given himself. Why I keep hearing king of New York. Y'all are not the king of New York. Look at the numbers, he says. For the king of New York S, let's cut that out. Little boy, sit down. If you don't got this watch, I'm not beefing with anyone from New York. If you don't got this watch, you're a little boy to me. I'll kiss you on the forehead. King's home. It's over. Oh, trust us, 6 9 it's not over, especially since a lot of rappers have a lot of things to say about your release and nobody got this watch. Well, I think like two people got it, but if you don't got this watch, we can't beef. Number three, Lil Mosey. There's been a lot of guesses as to who's going to support 6 9 throughout his endeavor, when we'll be getting to soon, and who will be trying to get him out of the rap industry. Most people assume that the rap OGs are the ones who are going to be doing the heavy lifting, but some of the young guns of the genre are stepping up too. In a recent interview with Los Angeles' Real 92.3, Lil Mosey claimed he won't ever be working with a recently released New York rapper. Nah, you ain't seen me around that beat, he said about the rainbow-colored hair rapper. Nah, F no. I mean, before he was cool, but you know, if I snitch, nobody is effing with me. Even where I'm from, nobody will F with you if you snitch. That S dead, he continued. That S dead regardless, F that N. Lil Mosey was also asked if he thought there was a comeback in the cards for 6 9 While he implied the possibility of that, he maintained that his decision was final. You know how the fans be, but me personally, it's regardless of whatever anybody else talking about, you know? He explained, but it's not my place to speak on it because I don't know that N, but it's still F that N. There are other rappers too, like Young Thug, who are also adamant about 6 9 being a fool instead of a king. And if enough of them come together, that's a movement to proclaim 6 9 for what he is, a snitch, a liar, and a conman. Which is why one rapper personally wants to make sure he's taken out of the picture. Number 2. Meek Mill I hope that rat going live to apologize to the people he told them, or the victim. Y'all forgot that that fast rat killed Nipsey. He wasn't supposed to be on the streets. That's the only thing I'm going to say because he's dead, left his baby mom and child like a coward as targets. Now you just an informant behind the keyboard trying to troll families you ruin, so it's not going to hit the same. And by the way, I'm going to say this for my son so you won't be around to impact their lives ever. I got way more money too. Don't even bring that up. I don't do the internet numbers. We do the bank. That was the word from Meek Mill, a rapper who has had serious issues with 6 9 in the past in a whole host of ways. He was one of the first rappers to speak out against 6 9 when he first snitched, stating that he knew he was going to turn one day and that he wasn't as hardcore as he believed himself to be. But why such a hateful message? 
Meek Mill just welcomed a new kid to the world. That's why he mentioned his sons in the Twitter rant. He's doing this for them, which makes him rather noble in our eyes. Number one, Akon. Not all rappers of the world are hating on 6ix9ine, believe it or not. There are a few who have stepped up for him and said that he was still good in their eyes. Akon has been one who consistently supports him. The rapper went so far as to say last year that he totally understood why 6ix9ine snitched on his crew. With Takashi, it's a little different because he comes from a generation that really didn't have no moral ethic, he said in an interview. I can't really speak on why he would do that, but most likely for the obvious reasons. But everyone goes through something in their lives that propels them to do things that they feel is the best interest of themselves. And I think you really can't blame them if what he's saying is the truth. Akon explained why he didn't blame the Brooklyn rapper for snitching. Here's the thing. He's young, bro. He had to literally decide what's more valuable to me, my family or my future. Akon explained, you have to make a decision that's going to better you. During the live stream, the mogul emphasized that 6ix9ine was most likely in over his head. Me and you, there ain't no excuses. We've been through the trenches. We know better, he added, noting the generation gap. Akon questioned why Takashi 6ix9ine was even put in a compromising situation to begin with and suggested that his homies should have took that for him. He continued, he's the football, you always protect the football. We'll have to agree to disagree on that one because 6ix9ine was very much guilty of the crimes he committed. He even had to plead guilty to nine charges before he could do the plea deal. Plus, what happened to being accountable for your actions? Either way, the views on 6ix9ine are clearly mixed all over and that's not likely to change. So there you go, a look at some rappers who have made their feelings known on 6ix9ine's recent release and his standing in the rap community. Which do you agree with? Do you think 6ix9ine is right to be free or that he should be locked up and banned from everything rap? Let me know in the comments below, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time on the channel.